What are emotions and feelings? Anthropologists focus more directly on emotions, in questioning their nature and addressing their role in social life. The philosopher Descartes separated the function of the body and the soul in what he called mind-body dualism, and he defined passion as automatic passive awareness, which was seen as being a part of the soul. Back in his day, Spencer proposed emotional selvage, or the idea that non-Europeans lacked emotional control and were impulsive. There is polarization between biological determinists and cultural constructivists, because the former maintains that emotions are merely bodily reactions, and the latter believes that emotions exist in a、uh, in a particular cultural and social context, as just merely being a social phenomenon. Darwin, in his work *The Expression of Emotions in Men*. Or in man and animals, in 1859, stated that emotions were derived from physiological functions and are primordial, the product of natural selection for survival. In the cultural constructivist camp, scholars like Jertz et al. suggested cultures constructed emotions. They believed animals were controlled by instincts alone. But humans have emotions that are defined by the culture and social context that they live in. Parkinson, in 1995, believed emotions are intrinsically interpersonal and communicative, serving a performing,、uh, a performative role. On the other hand, evolutionary psychologists like Cosmides and Toby argued that emotions are su- are superordinate programs. That helped to regulate behavior and allowed for individuals to adapt to the environment. Melanowski suggested that emotions drove action in the environment, such as fear of death, motivating humans to do things. Additionally, Plutchik stated emotions existed earlier on, and in most animal species, they include protection, destruction, reintegration, reproduction. Incorporation, orientation, rejection, and exploration. These served as an adaptive function, since, for example,、uh, orientation required organisms to stop what they are presently doing and attend to the new stimulus, which could be life-threatening. From this proto-emotional behavior, emotions like surprise and astonishment developed from the well orientation behavior. The counterintuitive model proposed by James suggested that emotions are composed of two stages. There are physical responses such as muscle tension, sweating, and quickening heartbeat, which occurs when individuals encounter stimulus. Subjective experience is the second stage of emotions, and it is where feelings are interpreted, like the feeling of fear and excitement. The model was counterintuitive. Because it was assumed by Milanowski that emotions occurred first and that they drove actions, while James affirms that it is the other way around. Bodily changes occur, and the interpreting of emotions is、uh, secondary. In 1999, the Maysia proposed a model that built upon James's. Uh, by distinguishing between the idea of emotions and feelings, emotions are the observable and physical, physiological functions such as trembling, voice, blushing,、uh, for example. A feeling, on the other hand, is a perception of the emotion, and thus it is subjective, private, and internal. Damasio believed emotions played a role in the evolution of consciousness. Since the body、uh, responded to environmental stimuli, furthermore, Milton proposed an ecological model of emotion that emphasized the relationship between individuals'、uh, emotions and the environment. Emotions were seen as part of what helps us to learn from our environment, and has the implication that without emotions we wouldn't learn.
Emotions are part of general learning capacities, since it, it enables us to learn from particular parts of the environment. It is society and culture that teaches how emotions are to be expressed and to be interpreted, how they are to be interpreted. It does also imply that only individuals and not groups are the only entities capable of feeling emotion, learning and being conscious. This has major implications for anthropology. Since we mostly study how people think and feel in a certain group context, believing emotions are the product of groups, perhaps we need to look more on how uniquely individuals think, even in the same group. So in summary, we looked at theories of emotions such as Descartes' body dualism, Darwin and evolutionary psychologists on physiologically uh, evolved emotions, and counterintuitive models by well the counterintuitive model by James, Demacio's model in distinguishing between emotions and feelings, and finally Milton's ecological model. Thanks for watching.